there you are. I was beginning to wonder where you'd gone off to. I'm serious, how long have we been traveling together? At this point, I wouldn't put it past you to get up, waltz off into the woods, and hike about in the middle of the night. As is your right, your whim, etc., what have you. But that doesn't work for me. Firstly, how dare you leave me to hold a conversation on my own? It's not nearly as fun when you're not there to jump in with your commentary and wit. Imagine my dismay when I looked around and you had disappeared. Right away, I did what any loyal companion would do, of course. I refilled my drink and began my search. Now, what's the matter? Did Gale manage to eat one of our rare artifacts when we weren't looking? I see. You were having a conversation when... Oh. Is that what they said? <laughs> Ridiculous. I'm sitting down. Much better. Listen to me, darling. There is a fool born every minute. By that sense, you're bound to run into them rather often, yes? We travel, we get around. There are many people with whom we cross paths. The problem with knowing diamonds in the rough is... Well... Having to interact with the rough. Does that make sense? You lucked out with me, darling. I'm impeccable, but I'm afraid it's set your standards much too high when it comes to regular people. Then again, you should have high standards. It'll get you far. I didn't make it this long by allowing people's ignorant whims or claims to affect me. What I'm getting at is this. Your words are valuable. That doesn't change when some oaf chooses not to listen. That's their issue, not yours. And don't you go thinking otherwise, understood? I will become cross with you. Why? Well, why not? I don't sit around and enjoy our talks only for you to go and doubt yourself over some stranger's opinion. Hear me, pet. You are a delight. Don't take their words to heart. Some of the most interesting people I've met in my many, many years have been referred to as worse, and yet they all have my respect. Why? Well, because they were never scared to be themselves. Even I am the sort to feel inspired by such courage and dedication to one's truth. And you best listen to me. I have no reason to lie. Well, not anymore. <laughs> but doesn't that serve to make my words all the more assuring? Now, tell me, darling. Would you ever be content living a bland existence? Could you happily exist by silencing yourself for the satisfaction of those who never planned on listening in the first place? Because I don't think so. Do you want to know what I believe? I'm convinced that you leave an impression on all those you meet. Me included. One idiot cannot take that away. Nor a dozen. People are going to judge you. There's no way around it. There will always be those who adore you, and those who do not. That's the way of things. But, if you need more than words, we can always pay them a visit. Teach them a lesson, perhaps? Nothing too barbaric. 
I'd only suggest baring our teeth, so to speak. They may think twice before opening their mouths so carelessly in the future. Hmm. No fun. You'll agree to it one day, though. Well, if you won't allow me to confront them, then I'll need to find another way to lift your mood. It's still far too dour for my liking. Should I begin to list off your many accomplishments? I could always be wrong, so feel free to correct me, but I doubt such an annoying person could amass a group like this one like you have. Yes, we are the epitome of a merry band of misfits, but it works. And it was all thanks to who again? Exactly. You have the power to change people's lives. You have changed lives, my dear. And you will continue to do so. I have full faith in you. Which, if I might say, is very bold of me. You've come up with some mad schemes in the time we've known each other. A few of which that have put me in, ironically, mortal danger. Ugh. You think you're annoying, and try nearly being lit on fire by magic spells almost a dozen times in one evening. Oh, it's fine. The clothes I got as replacements were much more stylish anyway. As far as I'm concerned, I made it out on top in the end. Oh... Do my eyes deceive me? Is that the hint of a smile on your face? Now that is more like it, my dear. You shouldn't allow anyone else to silence you. In fact, the next time someone tries to do so, you have my full permission to speak louder and louder until they shut up. You're much too brilliant to be dulled, so be confident and say what you want to say. And the ones who truly matter will be happy to listen. Otherwise, they're not worth your time or even your presence. Besides, what really matters is that I like you. That's the greatest mark of quality there is. You wouldn't argue against that, now would you? My taste is without flaw. Therefore, I'm right. Anyone who disagrees is wrong, and this conversation will never need to happen again. Now, come along, pet. The others are going to notice we've gone missing. You wouldn't want any inappropriate rumors to spread among our companions, now would you? Unless... Oh, still no fun. <laughs> I'll get a delicious reaction out of you yet. I know it. Our endearing little back and forth aside, are you sure I can't pay a little visit to the ones who upset you? What if I promise, cross my old heart, that I'll be very careful? They won't even know I stopped by for a bite. A victimless crime, really. Uh, need I remind you that I don't actually have to listen to a word you say. I could go and feed on them if I truly wish to. But as it turns out, I'm not that hungry. And I might feel a bit guilty letting you walk all the way back to camp alone after our talk. Emphasis on the word might. <laughs> Lead the way, darling. I suppose we do have some more time to talk before we come across the others. So, why don't we make the most of it, hmm? I'm sure there's plenty more you'd like to hear from me.
Well, if you are interested, then might I suggest subscribing to the channel? You might be pleasantly surprised. For adult fans with more salacious palettes, then do take a glance over at patreon.com slash anagomi. Now, what else was there? Oh, yes, I remember now. For something truly made to your tastes, why not order a commission at anagomi.com slash commissions? Think about that, won't you? A piece made just for you. Well, darling, I think I can see the glow of another fire approaching, and I hear glass complaining that it once again is empty. I should go take care of that. And you should take care as well. Farewell, for now.